Hold on, unraveling its many meanings in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the phrase, hold on. It's a common phrase in the English language, and understanding its various uses can really help in everyday conversations. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just looking to refine your understanding, you're in the right place. So, let's dive in. In the most literal sense, hold on means to physically grip something and not let go. It's used when you want someone to keep their physical grip on something. For example, hold on to the handrail while climbing the stairs. Can you hold on to my bag for a moment? This usage is straightforward and is usually clear from the context. Often, hold on is used to ask someone to wait or be patient. It's an informal way of saying, wait a moment, or give me a second. For example, hold on, I need to tie my shoes. Can you hold on a minute? I'm almost ready. This is very common in casual conversation and is an important phrase to recognize. In telephone or online conversations, hold on is frequently used. Here, it means to wait on the line or not to end the call. For example, hold on, I'm transferring your call. Can you hold on? I'll check the information for you. Understanding this usage is crucial for effective communication in English, especially in professional settings. Sometimes, hold on is used to emphasize a point or to express surprise. It's like saying, wait a minute, to express that you're surprised or that you want to emphasize something. For example, hold on, are you saying you met the president? Hold on, this isn't what we agreed on. Recognizing this usage can add nuance to your understanding of conversations. There are variations and similar expressions to hold on that are worth knowing. Hang on is often used interchangeably with hold on. Hold up can also be similar, though it's sometimes used to indicate a stop or delay. Wait a minute or just a second are alternatives that carry a similar meaning. We hope this video has helped clarify the various meanings and uses of the phrase, hold on, in English. Whether it's asking for patience, emphasizing a point, or just keeping a physical grip, this phrase is incredibly versatile. Remember, context is key in understanding its usage. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using hold on like a native speaker. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. See you in the next video.